In this video, we will be discussing a common error that can be encountered after you've loaded an update. If you've just installed an update and accessing the system for the first time, the following error might occur. VIPSAL.ACU program missing or inaccessible. Just click on OK to exit the system. To resolve this issue, you will need to restore a full system backup. This will be the full system backup you made prior to running the update. If you ticked the option to make a full system backup during the installation process, you can find this backup in your system folder. Right click on your system icon on the desktop, select properties and on the shortcut key, select open file location. This will take you directly into your payroll system folder. In there, locate the backups folder and look for the full system backup made, paying careful attention that you are selecting the correct one, as there might be a few backups in there from prior installation processes. If you did not make a full system backup during the installation wizard process, locate the full system backup you made manually. Once you've located your backup, you can now restore this full system. Double click on the backup to open it, select extract, and then browse to the system folder and click on OK. You can just say yes to replace all files in the destination folder. Once the backup process has been complete, we recommend that you access the system to make sure that it actually opens up and also to log into each company just to double check and make sure that the companies are all accessible. Now you need to go back to your payroll system folder and search for the VIP SAL TMP.ACU file. If you find the file in the folder, delete it. Then exit the system, run a rebuild, and then upon successful completion of the rebuild, proceed to run the update again. There are instances where full system backup was not made. So what are your options? If you don't have a full system backup, you will need to find the last full system backup you made and then restore your data backup for your companies into this full system. The challenge might be that if you don't have a recent full system backup, you could have to go back quite far and this could result in several software updates needing to be loaded before you can restore your latest backup. Once you've successfully managed to get your system back up and running to the point before you encountered the error, you can then proceed to run the rebuild on the files and then run the installation wizard again. We do advise that if you struggle with this process at any point in time to book a consultation and get one of our friendly support consultants to assist you.